HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, the latest from the Hopkinton Senior Center, we have Halloween photos from around the community and we have the latest in Hiller's playoff sports and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. The Hopkinton Select Board has called a special town meeting to be held on Monday, December 9th, 2019. All articles or petitions proposed to be included in the special town meeting warrant must be received at the Select Board Town Manager's Office no later than 4.30 p.m. on Thursday, November 21st. All articles and petitions must be submitted to the Select Board Town Hall at 18 Main Street in Hopkinton. The select board also approved three town manager employee appointments. The board affirm the town manager's appointment of Casey Morrow as the town's public health nurse. Uh, she comes to Hopkinton with extensive experience in nursing. Uh, she worked for St. Vincent Hospital for two years in oncology, cardiac care, and ICU. She also worked for two years at Spalding Hospital in Cambridge. She has a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. When we spoke to your references, uh, Casey, they described you as bright, motivated, diplomatic, and responsible. A former supervisor said, you are very respected by patients, doctors, and fellow nurses. We were also told you are great working as part of a team. <laughs> and parallel with that, when called upon, you do perform independently. Thanks. I always enjoy introducing new personnel to the team. Um, in terms of Jessica being in front of the board, I think I have one simple statement. Uh, we always hear a great deal about, perhaps I should say, we hear a great deal of questions when people leave the town. And in this case, I am very pleased to announce that Jessica is coming back to the town of Hopkinton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll let the board ask you ask any questions you may have. Mary Jo, start us up. Well, I have uh, done things with Jessica for when she was here in town uh, for senior workout program and a number of other programs and gotten information. And she's always been very helpful and very forthcoming. So I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad to be back. Thank you. To her, where did you go? <laughs> uh, the town of Charlton. Oh yeah, how was that? It was good. It was an excellent experience, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 They didn't have they didn't have an HR department. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it was a, a a really good learning experience for me Great. too. Great. Um, put simply, when we interviewed Stefan, we were very convinced that your private sector experience, especially in customer service would add value to town hall services. Um, she comes to us with 13 years of experience working for a physical therapy aid and client care specialist at Lom Lomonaco 
Rehabilitation Services. Uh, she has an associate degree of science in health sciences from Dean College. In speaking with your former supervisors, they told us that your 13 years uh, at your last job really talks to your stability, reliability, and commitment. Um, you were described as being detail-oriented, intelligent, and resourceful, and clearly that will help you a great deal upstairs on the third floor. Well, I just, the, the thing that struck me was this is quite a departure from your previous profession and jobs, and uh, how do you think you're really gonna like working with uh, land planning as a, as a different? It's definitely different, um, but I'm excited for something different. I, I loved my job, but I, was, I needed something new, and I'm excited for a challenge. The Hopkinton Fire Department recently received a three-year grant that will allow Hopkinton to hire four new firefighters. Chief Slammon talked about being one of the few departments to receive the grant. We had been uh, looking at some of the FEMA grants for a few years, and uh, in the last couple years with our staffing studies and uh, recognizing we're trying to establish some effective responses, I worked with my Deputy Fire Chief Bill Miller and Ben Sweeney up at Town Hall, our new uh, grant writer, and uh, they both worked hard on understanding how to uh, adequately uh, meet the needs of the grant and, um, and work with the town of Hopkinton on uh, getting adequate staffing for our growing community. And uh, can you talk about what that grant will go towards? Sure, it's, it's specific for uh, firefighter staffing. So we qualified for four firefighters and uh, in our uh, hiring model that we've been talking about for the last couple of years, we've realized with the calls for service and the number of firefighters we would need that that was the right number. And uh, when we applied for the grant, it gives us a uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 70 or 75 percent coverage for the first two years and then like 30 percent the, the final year. So we knew we were gonna have to hire these firefighters at some point and basically what it does is it helped free up over half a million dollars um, to get it going on a timely manner. The interview process is in progress and new firefighters could be at your service in Hopkinton very soon. So we've uh, started the interview process. I actually have uh, three offers out right now and uh, I'm looking to do the fourth soon. And uh, it, it takes a while to onboard a firefighter. I just got last year's um, two firefighters fully in sync right now and, and every time I add a firefighter it, it makes a difference. It's a, one more set of hands. We are, you just heard the crews go out right now. Um, we have two and three calls on a regular basis during the day and it really has helped out getting adequate staffing so uh, a community gets better service and it's safer for our firefighters. All right, and, uh, how busy have you guys been lately? So I have good news to report. Uh, we've had a dramatic spike up in the last three years. This year calls for service is running about level with last year. So I'm hoping uh, to report at the end of the year we've kind of plateaued a little bit this year. It's a little bit cyclical up and down as we go so we'll see how it uh, the growth of the community is still there. I'd like to thank uh, and thank my uh, educational and preparedness and public safety crew that I I, uh, I believe that we're a safe community and acting safe and hopefully we're controlling some of the requests for service. I've uh, been working a lot with our seniors and the veterans and the general public on uh, how to you know, be safer, think safer, work with safety tips. Uh, having said all that, there are still some emergencies and that's what we prepare for every day. The Hopkinton Senior Center hosted their monthly celebrity served lunch. Here's a look. Hopkinton Town Manager Norman Kumalu was the celebrity server for lunch at the Hopkinton Senior Center this past Tuesday. The first Tuesday of every month we have a celebrity server and that celebrity is someone from the town or the community who comes to the Senior Center and works as one of our wait staff in our dining room. And this we've had uh, Chief Lee 
and this month we have uh, Norman Kamala, the town manager, and it's a very exciting time for everybody. I think he has a great time getting to know the seniors, and they have a everyone has a great time getting to meet our celebrity. So the paparazzi, as you can see, comes, and uh, that's very exciting for everybody here as well. When you asked uh, Norman, how did he respond to it? I'm sure he was really Oh, he was very excited and uh, perfect, perfect person to come. Very uh, social and, and involved in the community, obviously. And uh, it's a great opportunity for seniors to be able to to get to see them on a personal level. So it's very, it's, it's. I, I think that uh, everyone has responded very well to this program. Terrific. And uh, you have some baskets behind you. We do. If you look around the Senior Center lobby, we have our, um, or the Friends of Hopkinton Seniors main fundraiser of the year. And we have uh, our sale coming up into, at the end of this, or uh, the 22nd and 23rd of November. But also we have our baskets. So if you're interested in seeing, we've got things from sports memorabilia to children's items to cooking items and pets. So come on down. Coming up next, the latest on Hiller Sports, scenes from around the community on Halloween. And Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Welcome back to HCAM News. We asked and you delivered. HCAM fans sent in their Halloween pictures. Here's a look at Halloween from around the community.
Cougars girls volleyball was in action this week, competing in the Central West Division I sectionals. Here's a look at what happened as well as the latest on Hiller's boys and girls soccer. The second seeded Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball team took on third seeded Algonquin this past Wednesday in the sectional semifinals at Framingham High School. Here is a look at the action. Not much club could do with that, just played it safe. Morgan gets that, that's in play. I thought that was going to go in the hoop. That was like a little carnival action there. <laughs> do you get tokens for that? <laughs> Nice oh, play. What a, what a great point. Brett with another great serve. Hannah, Rachel, back set. Oh, what a point. Wow. What a, that went down the, the, the height of the net and just dropped right in. Great swing from Bellucci. Serve. Back set. Blocked. Ashley keeps it alive. Rachel. Mirabella. Nice swing from Pellucci. She's feeling it. And that's out. Pillars take the first set 25 to 17. Rachel White had 162 points for Algonquin this season. Good save. Jada, oh, good get from Hannah. Back in the system. Good dig from White, bump set. Just pushes it. That's it, Morgan comes in. Bub goes deep. Blocked, arm bar. Kept alive. Great hustle. Oh, Hopkinton deserves wow. that point. What a point. There is not a lot of teams that can keep that one alive. Got a lot of impressive blocks. And they may not have all the height in the world, but they're playing like they do. Morgan, Lorette, outside, Mel, good approach. Gil Day with a nice put away. That was a beauty. White, pushes it outside. Morgan handles that. Catherine, Bub, goes Right down the middle, back outside, blocked, kept alive, Morgan gets to it. Kate Powers. Shada thumps it over, back to Kate. She wants it, she was calling for it. There it is. Kate was demanding for the ball, that's what you want to see. Morgan. Catherine in the middle, Powers blocked. Kate keeps it alive, Morgan bump set to Bub. Tipped, White, short set, Morgan handles it well. Outside to Cassie, oh! oh. It's gonna be a dump, Chiata. Kate pushes it to Bub, down the line. Chiata with a great save, and that's long. What a volley, what a point. Oh, Bob! <laughs> Another bump point. Well done. 24 20. Morgan, Catherine, outside, Bub. Bump point! And that's the second set. 25 to 20. Great block. Oh, man. Stuff like a Thanksgiving turkey. Up to serve. I think it was right on the line. Yeah, the down referee was very emphatic. How about that, an ace. Good in system here. Rachel, right in the middle. McDermott. Oh, oh yeah. Great swing from McDermott. Best of five. Lorette, Sam. Great swing wow. from Sam. That got a foot stomp from Grabmeyer. 
What a send over. I think that should have gotten two stomps. See the girls put a little run here. Put a little distance between themselves and Algonquin. That serve will help. Oh, it certainly will. Cassie, Catherine, Powers, point! <laughs> Kate Powers has just grown into this game today. KP to serve. Outside, pushed. Catherine, bump set, outside, bub, cross court, off the ceiling. Nice save from Algonquin. Hannah, Catherine, Bob, boy, that's it. Hopkinton takes the third set, 25 to 18, for a 3-0 victory against Algonquin. Hopkinton moves on to face the winner of the Concord Carlisle Needham game. I think our back row definitely uh, led the team today. Uh, our setters set up the ball perfectly, and our hitters were just fine in court. And I think. Everything combined, including the fans, really just helped us get good energy and led us to a win. Everyone's definitely had to step up a little bit more in the past. Andrew's a big leader on the court, and I really hope we have her back on Saturday. But the setters have stepped up tremendously. The hitters have stepped up tremendously. The defense have stepped up. I just think everyone played together, and Angie being on the bench and helping our team find spots is really just a giant component into what our team is. Congratulations on a great game Thank tonight. You. We wish you the best of luck in the section of finals. Thank you. 17th seeded, Hiller's Girls Soccer defeated 16th seeded Nosset 2-1 via penalty kicks in the first round of the playoffs, but fell the next round 3-1 to, to first seeded Old Rochester. The Hiller Girls end their season with seven wins, seven losses, and six ties. Congratulations to Coach Skiba and the Hillers on a terrific season. 14th seeded Hillers boys soccer earned a three to nothing upset over third seeded Diamond Regional in the first round of the playoffs, but fell the next round via penalty kicks, two to one to six seeded Bishop Fian. The Hillers boys finish with eight wins, eight losses and four ties. Congratulations to coach Sawyer and the Hillers on a great run. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark and I'm here to tell you what's happening this week on HCAM. On Monday, November 11th at 7.30 p.m. on HCAM Ed, Dr. Kavanaugh looks back at her opening day speech and her goals for the school year on a new episode of Highlights from the Hill. On Tuesday, November 12th at 7 p.m., Local seniors perform in the Senior Center Variety Show on a new HCAM TV special. And also at 7 p.m. on HCAM Ed, the Special Education Parent Advisory Council hosts a presentation on parents' rights in schools on a new HCAM Ed special. On Wednesday, November 13th at 7.30 p.m., the planning board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on Thursday, November 14th at 7 p.m., the school committee meeting will air live on HCAM Ed. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash newsletters, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton Community Calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea I want to hear from you, email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, everyone.
The second-seeded Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball team took on third-seeded Algonquin this past Wednesday in the sectional semifinals at Framingham High School. Here is a look at the action. Not much Bub could do with that, just played it safe. Morgan gets that, that's in play. I thought that was going to go in the hoop. It was like a little carnival action there. <laughs> Do you get tokens for that? <laughs> nice oh, play. What a, point. what a great point. Brett with another great serve. Anna, Rachel, back set. Oh, Ooh. what a point! Wow. What a, that went down the, the, the height of the net and just dropped right in. Great swing from Bellucci. Good serve. Back set, blocked. Ashley keeps it alive. Rachel, Mirabella. Nice swing from Bellucci. She's feeling it. And that's out. Pillars take the first set, 25 to 17. Rachel White had 162 points for Algonquin this season. Good save. Jada, oh, good get from Hannah. Back in the system. Good dig from White, bump set. Just pushes it. That's it, Morgan comes in. Bub goes deep. Locked, armbar, kept alive. Great hustle. Oh, Hopkinton deserves wow. that point. What a point. There is not a lot of teams that can keep that one alive. There's a lot of impressive blocks. And they may not have all the height in the world, but they're playing like they do. Morgan, Lorette, outside. Mel, good approach. Gilday with a nice put away. That was a beauty. White pushes it outside. Morgan handles that. Catherine, Bub goes right down the middle. Back outside, blocked. 